You're watching TNN, America's country home. Did you know we take the Crook and Chase show year-round, even during the winter months? For your free tickets, call us in advance, 615-242-8000. Um, let's do a little comparison here, okay? Our, our next guest is in the Guinness Book of World Records for a reason. Now, normally, the average person will read three to 500 words per minute, okay? That's the average person. There's some people who read faster and slower. This guy goes at the rate of 25,000 words a minute. And he's been tested. He retains most of that knowledge, so it's mm -hmm. not just reading it and forgetting I it. Know. He knows what he read. Please welcome the world's fastest reader, Howard Speedy Bird. <laughs> What is the purpose of reading so fast like that? To show off? No. <laughs> <laughs> I made friends with the uh, former president of Sylvan Learning, who was the uh, founder, Barry Fowler. He said something very interesting, and it answers your question okay. quite well. He said, if you took all the knowledge in the world in the 17th century and you put it in one place as a publication, mm -hmm. it would look a lot like the Sunday New York Times. If you took all the knowledge in the world today, 50 years from now, it would be 1% of what there is to learn. Information is growing at an unprecedented mm -hmm. rate, and we're still using 17th century reading techniques to learn. And when you think about how the decisions you make at work, school, and home mm -hmm. are based on what you know, the more you know, the better the decisions get, the less you lose because of bad decisions, the more you make. Well, that's that fine, sense. but is the brain naturally equipped to go at this pace? This is a good, I mean, is your brain right question. now about to explode? No, 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 not <laughs> at all. No. <laughs> The, uh, the brain is designed for this. Let me prove it to you. You drive a car on any of the highways in this country. You have to have a holographic brain. You have to see the cars all around you. Right. And not only where they are, but where they're going. You have to watch the road conditions. You have to watch the traffic signs. And a mistake could cost you your life. And instead of being overwhelmed by all that information, you turn on the radio, you make cell calls, and you talk to people in the car. And if you're in California, you do all three at once at the same time. <laughs> so okay. if a brain could read that, see the road, read the road so well, why can't it read a book? And there's a simple explanation. Okay. Well, we have a book for yeah. you. It's our book that Charlie and I wrote. Okay. And we want you to just to read maybe for just a few seconds. And okay. I mean... These are my reading glasses. These are your speed reading glasses? This is the secret. You've got to be able to see the book to read I noticed it. The, I, noticed, I noticed the flames on the side of the rim I'm going to be okay. 50 this year. When I was in the book, I was 38. So your eyes kind of change over those 12 right. years. Yes, they do. Okay, yeah. we'll just start at the beginning, and okay. we'll just take a moment here and let you read, and we'll watch you read. Yeah, I just want to see how, you know, quickly... It's a pelting rainstorm. Mm -hmm. It's in New York, and mm -hmm. McBride is about to take the stage, and it's uh -huh. basically, that's, that's what's happening on the very first page. It's setting the scene. That's right. Yeah, we're doing our show in New York. That's yeah. it. And that took what? How long was that? About a second and a half. Yeah. Not long. Not long at all. About three or four seconds. You have this ability. It's just we a do? question of turning it on, and that's what but, I teach. But don't you feel like you might miss something important going so fast? You might miss, uh, like, a, something small, hidden? That's... Well, then he'd slow down. We actually, in the whole system, we do it in three steps. We pre-read, and the pre-read tells you what's coming before you get to it. Oh, okay. And when you know what to look for, you don't miss it. And so it enables you to even get very good details very, very, very well. Okay, here's the thing. Charlie and I are getting very very forgetful. Okay. And you say that you have some easy steps to, hey. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like we forgot to sign your paycheck. Is that okay? Uh, What's your name? <laughs> we remembered not to do that. Yeah. So Howard, Howard here, you, you say you have some easy steps to help people Speed remember. memory. Okay. One of the things we t tell people, it's not enough to read quicker. If you don't remember what you're reading, what's the point? Exactly. And with you and your audience and people at home, I'd like to do a quick exercise and I'm going to instantly teach you to speak memorize it. I'm okay. going to stand up. Right. Do we need to stand or can we sit? You, it's up to you. <coughs> whichever you feel more no, comfortable. Okay. I'm going to give our audience here and you a list to memorize. And the first time, I'm not going to tell you how. And that will give us a sense of how it's working now, the way you use the techniques right. you know. All right. Here's the things. Ten things. You want to get nails, hammer, running shoes, spaghetti sauce, gasoline, knives, peanut butter rope, razor blades, and chocolate sauce. Is it safe to say you don't know the whole list in order or even out of order at this point? Right. Well, can I, I, okay. Spaghetti, chocolate one. sauce, running good. shoes, razor blades, hammer, nail, uh, gasoline. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's, she's gasoline. above that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, don't tell me. Did I say running shoes already? Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you do them in order? No! 
don't yes, know. Yes, you can. I'm going to teach you how. Now, see, that's tough to do, right? That's very good, by how the way. Most people only get four the first oh, time. Oh, okay. Most. Okay. The brain has many mechanisms for memory. One of the things that makes your brain remember is that it's emotionally important, like the birth of a baby or a graduation. You never forget those events. Right. Now, any strong emotion will work. We're using pain because everyone has the same reaction to pain. Pleasure, everyone has a different taste, like ice cream could be chocolate or vanilla. Well, how do you tie that in with this list you're talking about? Watch. We're going to use a familiar object, our body parts, and the list, and make an image that clicks them together with pain, and instantly it'll go in your memory. Wow, First okay. object, picture a thick, rusty nail going through the bottom of your foot. Don't do it, just picture it. Okay. And when you think about it, and I say foot, what comes to mind? A rusty nail. Yeah. So let's do it together. Foot, what are you remembering? Rusty, rusty nail. nail. A nail, good. Second object's a hammer. Picture a hammer breaking your shin. Don't do it, feel it. The emotion is what glues it in. When I say foot, you remember a? Hammer. And when I say shin, you remember the? The foot is the right. foot was the foot. nail, nail the and the hammer. shin was the hammer. hammer right. right. Okay. The third object was the okay. She had a better memory before. <laughs> the third You're object. Teaching You're teaching her to forget. You're teaching her to forget. Don't get okay. nervous on television. Okay. <laughs> okay. The third object is running shoes. Now. To get them to click into the knees, picture Arnold Schwarzenegger in the running shoes. He kicks your knees, he breaks them. So your knees were broke by a pair of running, running shoes. shoes. Three objects, feet, nail, shin, nail. hammer, sh and the knees. Running Arnold shoes. That's good. Nail Perfect. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Three out of ten already. Four, spaghetti sauce. It's boiling on the stove, spills on your lap, you get burned. What burns your lap? Spaghetti, spaghetti sauce. sauce. Feet have a? Nail. nail. Shin has a? Hammer. hammer. And the knees have? Running shoes. And the lap? Spaghetti sauce. Perfect. Now, wait a minute. You gave this list a minute ago. We don't have time to calculate all this, do we? You don't need to. It instantly will glue in. Watch what happens. The more we do, the easier it will get because the brain gets the pattern. Okay, so we have okay. four, right? Four. Now you need go. gas in your car. You're drinking gas. It's in your stomach. What's in your stomach? It's burning. On Gasoline. your lap. Spaghetti sauce. Your knees have the? Running shoes. Your shin has the? Hammer. And your foot has the? Nail. Nail. And you went backwards. It's not mattering anymore. There's a knife in your heart. Maybe you went to New York where I came from originally. <laughs> I'm from Dallas now. You probably you can tell my Texas drawl. Anyway, <laughs> it's a knife in your heart. Ready? <laughs> Feet. Yeah. Yeah. Heart. Knife. Lap. Spaghetti sauce. Stomach. Gasoline. Perfect. On your shoulders is peanut butter, and this is a strong one. There are roaches crawling on it. That's the emotion that hooks in what? Peanut, peanut butter. butter. So your stomach has? Gasoline. Your heart has a? Knife. And your shoulders have? Peanut, peanut butter. Perfect. Around your neck is a rope. You're being pulled behind a car. What's around your neck? Rope. In your foot. Nail. Nail. In your stomach. Gasoline. Gasoline. And around your neck is a rope. rope. Great. There's a razor and it cuts your face like Al Capone. Oh, <laughs> what cut your face? A razor. Okay. And in your stomach is? Gasoline. And your foot has a? Nail. And your lap has? Spaghetti sauce. And on your shoulders is? Peanut perfect. butter. And there's chocolate sauce in your hair and there are fire ants running in it. Ah! Okay. All ten. Watch how easily we do it now. Ready? Right. Uh -huh. Feet. Nail. Nail. Shin. Hammer. Hammer. Knees. Running shoes. Lap. Spaghetti sauce. sauce. Stomach. Gasoline. Heart. Knife. Shoulders. Peanut, peanut butter. butter. Neck. Rope. Rope. Face. Razor. And hair. Chocolate Give sauce. Give me signs of hand. Perfect day. You see, we all need to learn how to learn. We, we go to school, and they never teach the children how to learn, so, and then we're puzzled. No one knows how to so learn. So anything that you want to remember, mm -hmm. just associate it with something like that, and right. it'll just click in forever. Strong emotion. That's Strong only one, emotion. one mechanism.